Hi guys, I decided to record. Today is the night before I get my braces put in. I am showered. I was getting ready to go to bed and then I'm like, I need to talk to you guys before tomorrow because tomorrow I'm getting the braces done and you guys are going to be able to see it. I wanted to do a little sit down and talk with you guys explaining why I decided to get my braces done. So um, getting my teeth a fix has been a very, very long journey for me. When I was younger, I lived here in Houston and they would have routine visits, visits to the dentist. So my teeth were getting taken care of. When we moved to Florida, however, they didn't have that program and I didn't qualify for any Medicaid or anything like that because I was um, undocumented at that time. And so I just continued on. Braces came up when I was a teenager, but I one, it wasn't cool back then. Now everybody has braces and it's like a sign of wealth or whatever because you can afford them. That's not the case with me. But uh, back then it was like not, not a cool thing. And then also to think about metal in my mouth I was young I'm like people are gonna take me as I am either they like me or they don't that was my mentality back then and also I didn't want any additional weight or strain on my family's financial status because you know we're not a well-off family you know we we're a hard-working family so I didn't want to put that stress on my family and I I didn't want it back then then I got married young and you guys know that so um, the past three or four years <clears throat> I have been going to the dance dentist and trying to keep up with my dental stuff and keeping everything clean and cavity free um, I've been working really hard on that and when I came to Texas and I made the decision to make a lot of big changes in my life and to finally put myself as a priority I decided I wanted to fix my two teeth because one of the teeth is like very worn like you can see through it a little bit at the end and I was scared that it was gonna break off I'm like so maybe I can get some veneers because it'll be quick easy and I can get instant results I just want to fix my two front teeth you know, that's the only thing that worries me. I don't, I don't want to be walking around with a chipped tooth. So I asked about that. Unfortunately, because my teeth are crooked and veneers go on top of the teeth, they couldn't do it. So I would have to get my teeth straightened first and then do veneers if uh, I still don't like the the wear and tear she explained to me that the wear and tear is because of the grinding at night and also the way that my bite sits it is the perfect recipe for that middle part of my teeth to get worn with those two teeth up front that got squished in with my wisdom teeth whenever my wisdom teeth came out um, it pushed the bottom teeth because I only got the ones at the bottom which I got extracted too, by the way. It pushed the ones in the bottom. So I have a pointiness here, which those are getting wear and tear as well. In order to fix all of those issues, also my bite, because I do have a lock jaw. I don't know if you guys can see that. It pops, my jaw pops whenever I open and close too far, and it's even gotten stuck before. So fixing uh, my bite fixing my teeth all at once it just seemed like the best scenario to do um also i had also asked previously when i lived in florida for quotes on braces well it was around five thousand dollars here in houston i can get it around three thousand with payments you know you don't have to pay the three the three thousand up front so that's what i'm gonna do and i figured you know that's a very good deal so I'm going to go ahead and take that. I had a lot of doubt about it. I also thought about the Invisalign, but the Invisalign are like six, almost eight thousand dollars. And it takes longer for them um, to straighten the teeth. With the Invisaligns, you have to keep up with them. You're only not allowed to wear them 
for two hours a day so that means when you go to sleep you have them in when you're up and about you've got them in you only take them out to eat and i'm not sure if i'm that disciplined enough so braces are there yes there's some food that you can't have and yes it hurts at first but i figured it's there so it's going to be doing the work that i needed to be doing um and i think that's it i hope that i actually record my visit to the doctor and maybe some of the procedure and i will see you next time when i have braces bye hi guys i am back all right so this is the final reveal <laughs> i decided to come on here and i'm getting ready to go out to the park with the boys and i decided you know what i've never done like a video talking and doing my makeup at the same time i'm not like an mua i'm not super good at it but i thought it would be a little bit more entertaining than just watching me talk I got my braces done. This is two days. I actually got them done on Friday. I do have some pictures that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, but for the most part, I didn't film it. I It wasn't a room by myself. So I didn't want to film anybody else or make anybody else uncomfortable. So I decided to just take a couple pictures while the process was being done. So I got a couple pictures like that. Um, but I was embarrassed. I didn't feel like, you know, it was an open room. You know, it's when they have several chairs in a big room. And so it's like an open area. So I didn't feel comfortable filming. I didn't want to invade anybody's privacy, you know. With somebody getting up and personal in your teeth, it's a very personal experience. So, I always avoided um, going to the dentist because it's your face and they have the drills and all of that crazy stuff. Sorry guys, I need to pull these things closer. I'm also having some coffee. So, that's why I didn't film but overall i feel like my experience went pretty good um i have a pretty high tolerance of pain so i wasn't too scared about the pain or anything like that whenever i had heard people talk about um getting braces i always heard that they hurt and that the worst part is whenever they put in the rubber bands I can confirm that that is true the that was the hardest part just having them put in the rubber bands like you could just hear the stretching from the rubber bands and just to know that it's gonna be right there on your teeth and then whenever she put in the rubber bands whenever she tied it and then let it go that noise it automatically put pressure on your teeth so you can automatically feel that your teeth are being um that there's pressure in there the process of them putting in the 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 actual thing sealing them in that was pretty easy i didn't feel bad like i actually fell asleep during that part it's it's relaxing when they're not doing any machine work on your teeth so I, I usually don't fall asleep. That's like the first time that that's ever happened. But I was tired. And there was peace and quiet. So I fell asleep. She said that was the first time that that had happened. I was a little bit embarrassed. But I'm like, I, I was trying to relax myself too at the same time. Because whenever you're having anything done, your body automatically tenses up cinder i already cleaned out my desk because i'm gonna monday's gonna be my last um, day at the bank where i'm putting in my resignation notice 
um overall i mean it, it was a really good job um very good benefits but i'm ready for something different definitely so that looks okay so i'm gonna go in with i'm also trying to get my um hair lighter i'm going for a lot of big changes in my life in the way that I look, the way that I feel about myself. Yes, bigger and better changes. So that's how that process went. And then I was starving by the time I got out because I ate breakfast and then, and then I didn't take lunch because obviously I had my appointment at one so I didn't take lunch I went right um, to my appointment after I left my job <sighs> I did have a frozen meal I had like macaroni or whatever because I didn't want my stomach to be grumbling whenever they were putting in my bracket because like it I just find it so embarrassing or annoying when your stomach's like <laughs> making huge noises and they're so close to you so I didn't want to feel embarrassed about the noises so I made sure that I had oh ooh, went too far up. I make sure that I had something in my stomach so that it wasn't doing that so my stomach wasn't trying to be loud so I cannot eat popcorn I cannot eat chips I have to brush my teeth after every time that I eat um, and whenever I do eat, which I'm scared of doing now, I get like chunks of food stuck in between the brackets. It's so gross. It's so gross. It's a lot of maintaining. And I assume that since you have all those gaps, you know, you want to make sure that you keep them nice and clean so that you don't develop any cavities or anything like that so. so I'm pretty happy that I got my braces it is definitely an adjustment which I knew that that was gonna be an adjustment but they're in now so I can't take them out so I have to go through it but Sometimes, for some things, can I say hi? The only way is through. So I gotta get through this. And I know that I'll love the outcome once I'm done with it. I know. So, and also, I'll prevent my teeth from breaking. And from walking around with a chipped chew. So that is good. You know? Very good. <laughs> what is it, buddy? What is it? Cinder's over here trying to figure out what the heck mommy is doing. I really, really like this. I use L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I think that's funny. I like to look glowy. I know most girls are like, oh, I want to be matte. I have very, very dry skin, so that's not good. For me, it doesn't feel good to me. And I want to look as less cakey as I can I want to be able I don't want to just take pictures you know I want to be able to go out and about and look good not just for like an Instagram pic and I'm gonna do my eyeliner which the eyeliner is the hardest thing to do <sighs> the most time-consuming
So one of my questions that I asked whenever I got my braces is um, how am I supposed to floss? They gave me a whole bunch of cool stuff. They gave me a traveling thing. And so they told me that now I have to use this hook thing. I have to use threaders. I have not used it yet. I've just been brushing my teeth after every time I eat. These little things. Pretty cool. Gave me toothbrushes and toothpaste and an electric electric toothbrush which I already have one but that was cool of them and and they gave me advice and I can't eat a whole bunch of stuff like I said no hard candy no chips which I'm like <laughs> then what am I supposed to snack on but maybe I will also lose a little bit of weight because my snacking had been getting very very out of hand so yes my friends oh he's right by the camera guys sorry how did I do with my eyeliner Remember, girls, they are cousins, <laughs> not twins. Um, so, yes, so far, everything has been good. I'm pretty happy with the fact that I got my braces. And I'm very excited to see how they're going to look whenever it's time to take them off. I feel like I talk a little bit different, too. Like, I've always had a lisp, but this is a little bit ridiculous. Like, at the bank, my job was being on the phone a lot, and I was having a hard time getting some of the words out. Like, jeez. It's almost like, in order to pronunciate words, you have to move your lips a lot. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to be like showing my teeth too much but then it doesn't sound right when you don't enunciate the words so that's I know I'll get used to them it's gonna be 18 months so I'm for sure gonna get used to them with time now I'm just gonna do a little bit of powder to set it all in I went to um, to Sephora but I don't know anything about well I don't know much about makeup and I got this um, Fenty Beauty setting powder but I got it too dark I got this is cashew like you would think that would work on me but it's a little bit darker but I feel like once I put it on it takes a little bit of that cakiness away and it sits really good on my skin and also it smells so good it smells really good and it feels like it goes on really nice love it Cinder's over here playing with the cortina what am I missing 
I think I look pretty good. 